right, guys, this one, uh, hopefully, this will answer some questions. You know, the MS250 videos, every time I bring up the 250, I get so many people that are just, that verify what I said, and that's awesome. So many people that agree that the MS250 is not some crazy powerhouse. It's not the, uh, a saw that you're going to see, you know, loggers carrying around out on the coast. But it's just a saw that is good. It's, it's a damn good saw. They're not expensive and everybody has one and they all work it's crazy so but that video had brought up the the difference between a a rim drive and a clutch drum or spur style sprocket and this part right here is where the clutch runs inside and that would be called the clutch drum and this style of sprocket I call it a spur you could call it a drum sprocket uh, the terminology isn't really what's important, but I had mentioned swapping the MS250 over to a rim style sprocket and That to me is a better option. So this is an one size up from the stock what would come on uh, You know your average saw this is off of a 661. So it's a bigger clutch drum. This right here would be a Seven pin you can call it a tooth or a pin. They're gonna know what you're talking about, but you know, technically they'd call that a, a tooth and this a, a pin. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. So now this would be one size up from the seven, which would be on this bar, but I want to keep it on here to illustrate a point. So this is Pico Micro, uh, this chain. It's Pico or Pico Micro um, correction. This is just Pico. So Pico Micro is going to be even smaller. But I wanted to illustrate that this so this is a seven tooth or a pin, excuse me, see I even get it mixed up. Rim drive or rim sprocket. So someone uh, didn't believe me that this, the Pico sprocket and this would run the same chain and it absolutely does because you can get some like different race chains that are 20 inch or 25 inch even Pico. So that uh, that's why I wanted to run that on there. It's kind of a pain to get on though it doesn't fit in there very well so you can get if you can get the chains made you can run a 3 ace pico chain on a 25 inch bar if you want they actually cut like crazy i've even done it and then so now this rim sprocket right here this is a eight it's a power mate one i noticed it doesn't fit on there very well now this was a it would be a factory steel seven and that's the difference in size so you can see going up one tooth or pin count is going to increase your chain speed and it, it is going to rob a little bit of torque but uh, a lot of these bigger saws they they have enough torque where they can they can drive it no problem now this chain down here is going to be quarter inch pitch and this will not run three ace chain this is another one that uh, someone wasn't quite getting when i was explaining it to them so quarter inch and three ace pitch is different it's 100 percent different you cannot run it so I wasn't lying to you. And again, this isn't meant to like be an I told you so moment. I just didn't realize that people, a lot of people didn't quite understand this stuff and I'm, I'm happy to help. Now, this would be the quarter inch pitch chain. This is on like some of those 200s that I do and that's why it cuts so fast is because it is so narrow. Focus. So that is quite different. And then we're going to talk about 325 chain. Now this would be a quarter inch. See? So I've always tested sprockets. One good way to test. It's harder with these. But you, if you put a sprocket, it should rest. It's hard to do when I'm with a, a drum style like this. But if I took my weight off of it, it would rest right down in there. See how it rests in there? And it's, it's not going anywhere. So if you put a chain on a saw and it's like this is 325. Let's try to run this three ace chain with the three two five sprocket on it. Er, one sec. Yep, it, this one is the three two five. I thought maybe I had the wrong one. So now, see how that fits in there. But you hear that? You hear that clicking? It's it's not quite there. It's hard to explain. Like you would put that on your saw and you would think that's good to go. 
But see how that next that next driver is trying to get in there? Okay guys, so this is gonna illustrate my point with the three ace Pico a lot better. So this would be the eight, the eight pin, eight tooth, whatever you wanna call it. It's some of the these guys that wanna be snobs about definitions will correct you, but so okay, that rolls around in there, no problem. Now this is a nine tooth, about the same size, and this is a 325, the same chain. See how that, it doesn't fit. It doesn't just rest down in there. Let's see if it's not moving. See on the sides there? It just, so 325 and 3 Ace Pico are different chain. You see it doesn't fit. So that's what I was trying to say. It is definitely different chain. I promise you. That is the difference when you switch a 325 over to a 3 ace. And I should have made sure that I had, because it takes the inside is, if you switch it to a rim sprocket like this, the inside is gonna be smaller than the 3 ace. See how that's, that's smaller? So you gotta make sure you get the right one, but they do make them. Now they also, someone didn't believe me on this, they also make a 325, this would be a 92325. I had this on my 441 in one of the videos, and this does fit the bigger style clutch drums. So you guys just think I lie to you all the time. I wouldn't do that. So that's the deal with, you know what I mean? That's, that's obviously not gonna fit, but this is 325, and you do have to swap over to a, I always have the hardest time getting these things on. It's my eyes, my eyes are terrible. And it's the, basically the same size as a eight tooth, three A's. Now the pin count and pin sprocket, that's where this would come into play. So this is a three A's, whoops. This one is a three A's, seven tooth, right? That's what's gonna come stock on just about every saw. I think the 880s and the big saws come with either 404 uh, I think there are seven or eight, or maybe an eight, you might see that, but this is normally what's gonna come on most of your saws for a three ace uh, rim sprocket. Now check this out. That is a racing sprocket, and these actually have like pins in them. And this would be a 10 pin three ace. And look at that difference in that. So when you do run these racing sprockets, so I'll get a three ace uh, eight, which eight or nine is about as big as you're gonna see. Now just look at how much, I mean, if you think about how much more chain speed that's gonna give you. This is a good sprocket too, this is a nice fit. It's a, uh, I can't remember what they call these, Danzo or something, I'm thinking. Anyway, Danzco or something. But when you use a anything over an eight, even a nine, a 10 for sure, you're gonna have to modify your bar. So for one, you could, you could add chain if you wanted to. You're gonna have to, I should say, you're gonna have to add chain, but even if you wanted to get this in there, your, your chain and, and bar, even with the, the tensioner all the way back and with the way that the bar studs are on the saw, this is about as far as you can go and you won't be able to get that on there. So even if you got chain added to your, you know, if you got a few drivers or two drivers is I think is all it takes, you get that added to your chain, your, your bar with where your bar studs are is gonna be about right here, it won't fit. So you actually have to take some of the back of the bar off and move the track for your bar studs, you have to move that. So just know that if you're gonna get a racing sprocket, you do have to mess with your bar. It's it's definitely doable though. Uh, I've even heard like sometimes you gotta move your oil port, you gotta kinda make a track to it, but I'm no expert on this stuff, but I just, like I said, I realized that there was a lot of people that had questions and didn't know what the hell I was talking about, so what a mess. There ain't, it's a little bit more complicated than guys think. Uh, hope that helps answer some questions. I definitely like the rim style sprockets way better. I've seen these bust from the drum. Uh, on, on a lot of the strong 200 T's, you'll see that'll bust. And uh, then you have the option to swap, you know, swap just the sprocket over. If this wears, you can replace just this. Uh, 
Oh, one more thing. Huskies and Steels will will have a different inner diameter on this this like I call it, it's like almost like a gear, but it it's different. So sometimes you can get a three eighths if I have one here, and it won't quite fit. That one fits. Okay, so it might maybe the Husky ones. Some of them are smaller, but there there are certain ones that you'll put on. And if it is not, basically, you see how I have sometimes have a hard time getting it on? It should be, I mean, dead tight to that thing. I think, I know I got one here. I'll, otherwise, I'll just edit the video and end this. End this madness, me struggling. That one's got a little bit of slop. But I, don't, I still don't think that's the wrong size. So, how about them Vikings, huh? Yeah, I know it. Being a Minnesota football fan is is a tough deal. Okay, you know, I'm a steel guy. Guys, I'm a steel guy. So they all fit. Everything I have fits. And I'm just making stuff up. But there you go, guys. I hope that helped. I know this is a different, boring video coming from me, but uh, hey, you guys ask, ask questions. I'm going to answer the best I can. See ya. Okay, I found one for the example. Now, this is going to be a 325 seven pin and this is going to go on the rim style sprocket for a saw like ms250 okay now this is a uh, oregon brand and this is a three ace seven it does not fit on the bigger style and this is going to be the same you know the smaller style of this clutch drum is going to be on the 250 but this is a little too big you'll see if i put this on here and go film from the back side here if you try to line that up it's just a little too big. So if you put a Oregon brand uh, rim sprocket on the 250, make sure it's for a steel, not a Husky. But it's going to be a, a, about this size. The outside is going to be about that much bigger. So they do make a smaller 7 pin. So this is a 3A7. See what I mean? So there you go. That's what I was trying to say. So make sure that you get it for a steel. Uh, just get the OEMs brand. Uh, if you if you order aftermarket, there's Oregon and PowerMate and all those. Just make sure it's for a steel. All right, guys. See ya.